All the way back in 1998, CSS2 was published and brought with it a number of advanced CSS selectors. One of the most intriguing was the child combinator, which allows authors to restrict styles to explicit parent-child relationships. Thus, for example, authors can style any B element that is a child of an A element and only B elements that are children of A elements. The question almost immediately arose, what about going the other way and selecting parents based on their children? That question persisted for years, largely due to concerns from browser implementers about performance and page speed. 24 years later, here in 2022, things are finally changing, and the has pseudo class is landing in browsers. Thanks to work by Agalia, has is coming to Chromium browsers, and that work has prompted Apple to land their own implementation in WebKit. With has, authors can name an element and then check for whether that element has other elements in a declared relationship to it. Here, the selector matches whenever an A element has a B element inside it. But unlike the child selector, which operates on the last element given, has selects, in this case, the A element. Thus, in this case, the styles are applied to the A element instead of the B element. And thanks to the way has works, it's possible to select other elements based on their relationship to the element with the has pseudo class. Here, the second link is styled because it's the next adjacent sibling of an A element that has a B element inside it. Even more exciting is that has allows not just parent-child selection, but ancestor-descendant selection to any level. In this scenario, the paragraph is only styled because it has a B element as a child. If that child B element is removed, the selector no longer matches because it calls for an exact parent-child relationship between the paragraph and the B element. But if we remove the child combinator from the selector, it will match again because the paragraph has a B element as a descendant, not a child in this case, more of a grandchild, but it still allows the match and the paragraph will be styled. This ability confers a power to authors that they have never had and far beyond what was requested over the last two decades. Many previously impossible selector patterns become available. Authors can style links that contain only an image as their child. They can style a section element that has somewhere within it as a descendant, a table with a class of data. They can style any unordered list that is immediately followed by an ordered list. Or they can style any article element containing one of a few heading levels, only one of which needs to have a specific class. The number of new CSS patterns that has makes possible is essentially infinite and allows for removing any JavaScript that compensated for the lack of something like has in CSS. This major advance in web design capability was brought to both mobile and desktop Chromium browsers and spurred advances in WebKit thanks to work done by Agalia, the world's leading open source browser consultancy.